Hello, welcome to Afro News South Africa. Please kindly subscribe and share. Turn the notification on so you would be notified each time we upload a new video. The repeated lies by Zuma that he was jailed without a trial should be dismissed. When was the trial? What's the case number? Who was the prosecutor? Which court was it? Which date? What time? You still need to learn more, but not from me, about how the judiciary system functions. It is your base, I know you hate it, but it is what it is in JA. There is still a long road to travel by you, so that you can understand like all of us, including this man. This is one disciplined, respectful individual who does not go around seeking fame. I have nothing but love and respect for this gentleman. And, very intelligent, factual, with integrity. This gentleman shows that professionals can get rich doing the things the right way. Someone said on Twitter that, Zuma cannot tell the truth even if his life depended on it. I do not believe him, even if he says he is alive. Because you want him to say what your ears are eager to hear, what truth, you want the man to incriminate himself, then you'll be happy. Unfortunately or rather fortunately for you, the courts have the same attitude. Lady Justice developed feelings, she teared off the cloth closing her eyes, she misplaced the scale and forged through with her sod, piercing the person in the president Zuma right through his neck. It is sad to have darkies who believe this story, trial is when your story is listened to and your side is debated. Here we have a chief justice telling all justices to send a person to jail. Nkukuthobi is a stooge, don't you know him? Who can take him serious, we are not mad like ankles. If I may ask who opened the case against Zuma. She must show us a case number. The lower court where he appears before it went to constitutional court, lastly what was the charge? Advocate Tumbika is now acting as if Zuma owed him personally. Someone allegedly says on Twitter that, arrest brother Jacob Zuma, please, I'm getting irritated by the law being lenient on him. Him, too, must face the music just like other lawbreakers. Something is seriously wrong about Mr. Zuma. You can't always have excuses as person, you have to take some responsibility as well and acknowledge where you went wrong. This guy, nothing is ever his mistake. Again, the politics of South Africa are in shambles. Politicians are at each other's necks for power, however, it seems like this isn't a battle that started recently as politicians such as Chris Honey lost their lives due to such politics. Chris Honey's murderer was released on parole on 21 November 2022. People did not receive this message well, included the late politician's wife who made it a point to lash out at Zondo for the judgment. Numerous politicians were not happy about this, including Casas and Lamini Zuma. Lamini Zuma reacted to the judgment and sent some heartwarming message to the widow. However, people did not take this very well at they bashed her and asked her about the bad deeds done by her former husband Jacob Zuma. People reacted to the post and said, Did you feel the pain for those brutally killed by Eugene de Kock, who was released by Jacob Zuma, your ex-husband? Did you ask him why he paid him 200,000 rand monthly? Was he rewarding him for killing scores of black people? You kept quiet about those because you can't score political points. You are feeling no pain, you are campaigning for election using her pain. What have you ever done for her and the Hani family since the day of murder? You have been a minister since 1994 and have never done anything, and today you feel her pain. Don't lie. NDZ as a minister should know better. Wallace was given a normal death sentence, which does not prescribe for one to stay in jail till he dies. He was bound to be paroled which our system allows. Many killers are paroled daily in this country, including Dukak paroled by Zuma. Lamini Zuma was not spared by the people that commented there. They asked her of how she felt when Dukak was released during Zuma's term. Others even accused her of trying to get some votes using Hani's widow's pain. Indeed it is painful to have a murderer back in the streets, however, Willis served his time and qualified for the parole. Hani's wife unfortunately will have to keep this up with the constitution. At the same time she must remember that murderers are released on parole. 